but it feels like a very long meet cute it's just the 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 scene in a in a love uh, com, love rom-com. Com, rom-com in a rom-com where somebody drops the soap or something in a in the a super, fuck in are a, you ta- in a supermarket <laughs> and both of them pick it up at the same time what kind of shitty prison rom-com are you listening to <laughs> oh i couldn't i we were all scared it was a very tense thing but then peter dropped the soap and that's Danny when DeVito and arnold schwarzenegger in the new prison rom-com whenever schwarzenegger drops the soap and danny just climbs yeah. a ladder to get to him little mouse in the big house <laughs> Is that a real? No, but it could have been. Oh, big house prison. I was, I was, I thought there was an anal sex pun in there somehow. And I'm like, I don't know why you're calling your anus your big house. <laughs> Come in, it's very cozy. Oh, I've you know those love I've stories. Been over, I've Typical. been over there, some shit over there. You know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a home. I love that you just compared this, like. That you just compared this movie to an extended meat cute, and your way of explaining what a meat cute was <laughs> was you know that time when like somebody drops the soap uh, in the, a supermarket. It yeah. just feels like a long, long pack of chips. I don't care. It's just a long cut <laughs> of somebody dropping the soap. They just drop it, <laughs> but uh, ooh, like, and then you make eye contact with the other person, and you're just like, "What are we gonna do about that?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think I'm already clean. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. No, you're, no, you're, you're still, still dirty. dirty. Yeah. You're still dirty. I, yeah. You still need to soap up that body. <laughs> those pecs. Those pecs aren't clean. But, uh, I mean, like, it like shows up in the middle of the I, second movie. I don't know the plots but like, uh, or the actors in it, but, like, again, like just like this one, they're the main two that really mm, matter. Right. But, I mean, even if you don't do it with FFPO, it's worth watching. Right. Uh, why are you trying an upside down vagina? It's not a, that's a, just a, that's just an exclamation point. Oh. Yeah, the moment you look at it upside down, you realize what I'm talking about. It also looks like a, like a tie. Mm, I think we see what we want to see, if, Paul. If you, if you, like, put. What, what are you drawing on her labes? There's a head. Face. Oh, oh, vaginas don't have heads. Paul, I don't think you know what a vagina is. <laughs> there we go. Why is, that, why is that mean Business man ghost. have Business a ghost. tie coming out of his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> what is he, a magician just pulling out scarves? <laughs> sure. <laughs> but um, no, but I think it was it was really well done, and I, I they worked together quite well with it, and each one of them is a day. Yeah. And uh, like the first one is them first meeting each other. The next one's nine years later when they meet each other again for Great the first concept, time. Great concept, very realistic. And the third one, they've Lovely. gotten married and now they're with kids. Okay, cool. So it's, it's a great concept. It worked yeah. really well. They put a lot of work into it. Uh, parts of it, you know, you can see age and how age affects it and per- mm. perspectives. Because, like, when I'm looking at it now, I'm like, mm, you're a fucking 20 year old kid. Honestly, I was just waiting for Denzel Washington to show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, to, to real to I legit complete his training day. First half of it, I'm like, this is a prequel to training day. Yeah. Like, this is. He gets jaded, shoots <laughs> shoots somebody in the street. How great would it be if I just thought every time you see a movie with the same actor, you're like, this is the same characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This same. is the same universe. Oh my. This is the shared Ethan Hawke universe. <laughs> oh my god, Tomb Raider met the <laughs> Tomb Raider met the dude from Fight Club. They're like, this is having fun with Dick and Jane. And I'm like, no, it's a crossover. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you turning Salvin up all of a sudden? Just sliding on down <laughs> like an 18th century <laughs> mistress. Yes, ma'am. Well, I certainly do <laughs> hope there's some soap. <laughs> you stuck with the fish and so that, long. And that's and pretty scene. much what that, like, that was that's a real time yep, what before movie. sunrise is. Yeah, yeah. Just a big, long meat cute. <laughs> well, and that one guy had some cute meat, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why well, didn't I come up with that? That's that's brilliant. Plot. <laughs> is that what you meant by base, right? Boom! Nail it again. I'm out punning Paul. Paul is irrelevant. <laughs> Hashtag make Paul obsolete again. <laughs> stop! 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 Stop stealing my non-existent fan base. It's like the. Non- <laughs> It's like the 1940s all over again. Just some, <laughs> an American some, just taking away all our dreams. It's really just like jobs. some foreigner just comes and makes Austria completely irrelevant. <laughs>
Then you find out that the reason that he's here is because he flew to Madrid for a girlfriend <laughs> yeah. who like didn't want him there. Yeah. So he said, I bought the cheapest flight I could find. <laughs> but unfortunately, it was Austrian <laughs> Airlines three weeks from now. Yeah. But that was the cheapest one, so I took it. But then, uh, since it was three weeks, I just bought a Eurail pass yep. for three weeks, uh-huh. so I could drive around and have to look for accommodation for Euro three pass weeks. Super cheap, yeah. yeah, like there's no fucking way <laughs> that an Austrian Airlines flight three weeks from now, plus a Eurail Euro trip pass, yeah. ticket, and then like living for three weeks yeah. is cheap, even comparable. Like that's. I the, think I think in '95 he could have bought a Concorde. He flight could have bought and Serbia. <laughs> Nobody wanted it yeah. back then. Yeah, in '95, nobody wanted any part of that. He could have probably bought like huge chunks of Ukraine with that money. Like legit, he could have put an end to the whole Yugoslavian revolution. <laughs> thing. Just, just hey, like, look, I'll else. just buy Serbia. None of you yeah. guys want it anyway. I feel like that'll eliminate Conflict all the tensions. Solved. Yeah, they'll stop raping everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, having those mass grave parties. Parties. <laughs> No, but Serbia was like super bad and like the rape. Oh, and, yeah. They, yeah, they yeah. were like the Japs. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Serbia is the all European Japs. Serbians yeah. are the Japs of Europe. Hashtag FFP. Uh. No! <laughs> God damn it, Reggie. God damn it. <laughs> you heard it here. Paul, you're right. You do know about history. Jesus Christ. I agree with you, Paul. I don't know, but you're oh, probably man. right. Oh man! Oh Jesus! Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> you're so flustered. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just racist. <laughs> I go out of my way to be racist. You really did extra syllables, extra letters, <laughs> extra racism. <laughs> That's <the> Austrian recipe. <laughs> That's Austrian efficiency at its finest. Let's make it all, it'll all be longer and more cumbersome, (laughs) but on the plus side, side it will be more more racist, racist. so... (laughs) Bonus. (laughs) Stempel. (laughs) Yeah, I'm an accredited racist. Uh, I get it. No, that's called a birth certificate. (laughs) (laughs) An Austrian birth certificate just qualifies you to be racist for the rest of your life. It's tax deductible, yeah. My racism. That sounds very Jewish. I don't think I would admit <laughs> that publicly. Not in this. Not in this place. <laughs> what that racism is tax deductible? Yeah, yeah. They'll they'll be like, wait a second. <laughs> that sounds like a. That's like a. That's, that's like a, a Jew loophole. trying to. <laughs> that's like a Jew trying to be an undercover cop of like, yo guys, you know where the doobies are at? <laughs> like, <laughs> hey guys, we can make. Hey guys, we can make racism tax deductible or something. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, 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 <laughs> You went out of your way. That, I'm trying to adapt to the Austrian way. <laughs> After seeing this. But I do stand by. That yep. was a very good Jew impression you just did. What? Like it, it didn't even sound like your voice at all, but that was spot on. Well, I didn't do it. The Jewish one you just did. Which but one? the whole like, ah, tax deductible. Ah. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> this is fucking high five, man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to put that up as a video <laughs> clip just to make the audience realize what actually went down. Perfect. Yeah. You're never gonna come back into this again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you're so needy. <laughs> <laughs> I say so much horrible <laughs> shit to you all the time. You made one pretty lame comment, like <laughs> very tame, and you're like, "I'm sorry, please come back, please." I need. I'm just a nice guy, you know. You just looked in my eyes like I just dropped the soap. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do about meat this? Meat killed, meat killed soap. Yes. He's like, oh, is that lavender? Sweat, yeah. <laughs> oh, you wanna try lavender that? and try aloe vera? Aloe vera soap. Yeah. It helps alleviate the burn. Yeah, it's very, it's yeah. very foamy. It it is a it doubles as a lubricant and a balm. <laughs> it's also an right antispermicide. You will not even feel my chlamydia once we <laughs> with all of this aloe vera. How, wait, how do you feel chlamydia? How do you know that? Because I've I've probably gotten it. Oh well, I don't okay. know. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Props. I mean, like, I'm an adult. My dick looked like a Swiss cheese for a while. <laughs> Why did my dick have holes in it? <laughs> My, my dick had like a four hole punch in it, and I'm just like, it must be maybe chlamydia. Who knows? Oh, you have an A4 long dick? Nice. So you do use that four hole punch on there? It's, it's equally thick, too. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, not best. really noteworthy. All right, I got my one pun in there. Done. Hashtag make Paul irrelevant again. <laughs> you know, it was you and like. Toxic you. Yeah. But the thing is, toxic you define only defines toxic as what you think is toxic, and you don't realize how much of what you do is toxic. So it still <laughs> left both people with quite a lot of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you are you are my Rick. You know that. You are my Rick. Yeah. I want to be everybody's Rick. You're, you're way smarter, but you're also severely depressed. <laughs> <laughs> um.